it's Mrs. Gobranson. I am here to read you a story today. And this story is called Even Superheroes Have Bad Days. This story, um, the author of this story is Shelley Becker. And the illustrator of this story is Eda or yes, Eda Caban. So Shelley Beaker wrote the words of this story and Eda wrote, drew the pictures for it. It's beautiful. Even superheroes have bad days. So this is Beastie, Zing, Thrash, and Laser Man. Superheroes don't get their way when they're sad, when they're mad, when they have a bad day. They could use superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek, they could screech with an ear-piercing sound. They could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rubbles and rocks. They could use laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate the town's tires. Hmm, but if they did all that stuff, would they still be superheroes? But Upset superheroes, see, upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking and super extreme outer space mountain biking. They race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness, building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged zing, dragging hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. They track down the tame and tame super menacing beasts and they transform pity parties into victory feasts. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. Come on, Hulk, move it! Hulk, Hulk! Ooh, Superville Elementary. They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters and monster typhoons. But if they did those, would they still be superheroes? Hmm. They could spin super webs, super far, super sticky, and tangle up towns with their silk super icky. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time, or sit back and relax while the world fills up with crime. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage, they could, but they don't. Because real superheroes just wouldn't, they won't. Instead, they dig down to their super best part, the, super, the strong superpowers contained in their heart. And using their talents as true heroes should, they battle the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, and they wait for their super emotions to wane. 
It's okay if they frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. But they get up and they get on with their day. Saving the world in the most super way. Here they are, all together. Magnifique, screecher, typhoon, icky. All right, friends, this is a really good story because the superheroes um, have bad days just like regular people do. I have bad days, you have bad days, moms and dads have bad days. But it all depends on how we handle them. So if we were superheroes and we used our superpowers to make things for other people bad, would that make everything okay? I don't think so. I think that what probably makes them feel better is time to cool off. Like it says right here, it's okay for them to frown. It's okay for them to sigh. And it's okay for them to slump down and cry. But they get back up, and that's the most important thing is that you get back up. So when you're feeling sad or upset, what are some things that you do that help you calm down? I know that when I'm feeling upset, I have to take a couple of breaths. Like I have to walk away from what I'm doing. I have to breathe in a couple of times. You can do our rainbow breaths. Big breath in, and then you rainbow it out to calm yourself. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story, and I will see you later. Bye.